Hey everybody, Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings here with another tutorial. Now, I actually thrifted the suitcase. It didn't look like this before. I thrifted the suitcase for $7.99 for my local Goodwill, and I decided to kind of turn it into a showpiece for um, my office, or I might even flip it and sell it, but the inside is absolutely spectacular. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I prepped, painted, and applied this transfer. Now this transfer is very special to me. This transfer is actually inspired by me, and it actually has my name my business name on the tube. It says, Wildflowers and Butterflies, inspired by AJ's Vintage Design. So I can't wait for you all to try it out. I'll have the link down below. But it's kind of cool to have your business name on a actual product that's worldwide. So I'm really excited about that. But this is part of the, uh, of the image transfer that's in the kit. It's four pages, but this is part of it. And I show you in the video how to do this. But I also, show you a different color. I have done this in several greens and applied the transfers on here as well. So it's kind of like a New Orleans Mardi Gras meets springtime and flowers kind of inspired piece. But make sure before, go down and click and subscribe and like and turn on that little bell so you're notified every time I put up a new video. Your subscription is free and um, it helps me out as a business owner as well. So make sure you're hitting that subscribe and that like button plus the bell as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started, and like I said, every step of the way, and more pictures at the end. Okay, step one, give this bad boy a good cleaning. It's made of plastic, so I'm using uh, Dixie Bell's White Lightning, which is a TSP-based cleaner, giving it a good cleaning, getting all that dirt and grease and debris off of there. Then I'm taking water, rinsing off all the cleaning residue. You don't want that residue left behind, so give it a good rinse. Okay, the first step is to use an adhesion primer. I'm using Dixie Belle Slick Stick uh, to make this plastic surface paintable, and my paint is gonna last and not scratch off. So I am putting two coats of primer on there, and check out the inside of the suitcase. Is that not gorgeous? And I need to remind you, you should let your Slick Stick or your adhesion primer dry for at least 24 hours before you paint on it. You want it to give it to have a chance to adhere to the piece and not be reactivated. Okay, now it's time to start painting. I'm gonna be painting with amethyst, uh, lucky lavender, and a little bit of fluff. Now, I'm not looking for a perfect blend because this is actually going to be the backdrop behind a transfer I'm going to be applying. I'm gonna be applying my wildflowers and butterflies transfer that you can find on the Dixie Bell website now. It is one of the Bells and Whistles new transfer releases. And this is just gonna be the backdrop. So it does not have to be a perfect blend, but I want a nice cloudy look. So I have the ameth amethyst on the outside. Now I'm adding in the Lucky Lavender. I'm using a little bit more paint than I normally do, only because the suitcase is textured. I wanna make sure the paint gets down in all those little bumps of the texture of the suitcase. So I'm just blending the amethyst and the Lucky Lavender together. I'm gonna be coming through and giving it more of a cloudy look. Like I said, this is just the backdrop that's gonna be behind the transfer. So there I'm adding a little bit of fluff just to lighten up that center, but I'm just gonna work that paint and keep working it until I get it the way I want. You will see me spraying it with a misting bottle with a little bit of water. Anytime I have an area that's not budging and or the blend isn't happening, I can mist it with a little bit of water to reactivate it and get that paint moving. Okay, now I'm taking a nice, dry, clean brush. Uh, this is my Dixie Belle Oval Medium, and it has no paint on it. I'm just using it to swirl those uh, colors together to give it a little bit of a cloudy look, and I'm wiping any excess paint off onto a paper towel so I can always keep that brush clean. And I'm just gonna swirl it all the way around the piece. That helps blend the colors together, and it's also gonna give me that cloudy look that I'm looking for as a backdrop.
Okay, it's time to apply the transfer. I'm gonna be using my uh, Wildflowers and Butterflies transfer from Dixie Bell, and it has my business name on it, so excited. First thing you need to do is decide the placement of your transfer. Now, there's four sheets in the transfer, and one of them has a large bouquet already done for you. So you leave the white backing paper on until you figure out where you want it. Then remove the white backing paper, rub it down, get it in place, and then you're gonna burnish it. Now burnishing is that tool, it's a stick that comes in the kit for you. You're gonna rub that image to get it to release from the plastic. And you'll see at times that I put my um, open hand without the stick, I put that behind the plastic and help lift it as I go. It really does help with uh, getting your image to release quicker. Uh, so you're going to burnish around all your edges and start moving that clear cover sheet off as you go. If there's a place that does not come off, like the image stays on the clear sheet, lay it back down and rub again and it will adhere to your piece. So I'm gonna keep doing this until I get my whole image on there and I am so excited. It's beautiful with this backdrop. Okay, the image is on there. Now you wanna burnish it again. As you can see, I'm using my fingers. I'm rubbing over the entire transfer. When you rub on it, you're securing it, making sure there's no bubbles or any area that may not be fully adhered. You're pressing it down and that also reduces any halo that you might have. So I am now going to line up my second image. You can see through the border, which is clear, so that you can line up exactly. So you have a flawless seam. You won't see the seam in between the two images. It allows you to line it up. Get it lined up. Don't press it down until you have it lined up. You line it up and you're ready to go. And then you repeat the same exact process that you did with the first transfer. You're gonna apply it and do that same process here with the second one. Okay, now for the final step, it's time to seal it. I like to use a clear coat in satin, a water-based clear coat in satin. That's my preferred choice. You can use any water-based uh, clear coat or you can even use wax. Uh, but like I said, my personal preference is just to use, I use Dixie Bell's clear coat in satin. It's a water-based clear coat. But as long as you're using a water-based clear coat, you're good to go. So I did not seal, you notice, before I apply the transfer. I seal afterwards. And then if I want to add any glazes or any decorative accents, I can do that after I've clear coated it. So there was no wait time either after applying the transfer. Usually when we paint, we wait 24 hours before applying the transfer. But once the transfer is applied, you can go ahead and seal it right away. So I'm just making sure that I get all the sealer covering all of the areas and I am good to go. Okay, there you have it. Did you enjoy the tutorial? It's really easy, isn't it? And I, since this was the backdrop, the purple was the backdrop, I didn't have to stress so much about blending. My transfer gave it a beautiful, beautiful cover. So it was just used as the backdrop. Quick and easy, this is a beginner's type project. I hope you all give it a try. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I, like I said before, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell down below. And um, if you actually use the transfer, let me know. I'd appreciate it. All the products will be listed down below in the description box as well. And that's about it. Okay, until next tutorial, I hope you all have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.